is the one, the only... Well, here I am again with a chance for each of our couples to win up to $10,000. And if any of them say the secret word, they'll win an extra 100 bucks. And the word tonight is room. Uh, Groucho, we have Dolores Bloodgood and a gentleman whose only name is Ferrosi. They're very anxious to talk to you. So, folks, you can please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. It's a common word, something you'll find around the house. Dolores Bloodgood and Ferrosi. Is that all there is to it, just Ferrosi? Yes, just Ferrosi. That's your name, just mm. Ferrosi? Yes. Uh, that's a strange name. How'd you get the name just? <laughs> well, my mother named me. And you're Dolores Bloodgood, huh? Yes. How long have you been uh, married? Almost a year. Would you like a chair or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, thank you. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. When are you expecting this uh, little uh, child? In about three and a half months. I just need some reassuring, you know. Sure. If there's anything you want, like strawberries and pickles. <laughs> <laughs> if you need any pickles, just sell, uh, yell for Fenneman. He's pickled half the time. <laughs> now, Ferozzi, what part of Vermont are you from? No, I'm not from Vermont. You're I'm not? from Bombay, India. Oh, I see. Well, what brought you to this country? An elephant? <laughs> no, I came here for lecturing. Oriental philosophy, American citizenship. Now, most lecturers claim to be an authority on some specific subject. What is yours uh, particularly? Well, I call myself a social engineer. Uh-huh. And what do the other people call you? <laughs> <laughs> You're a social engineer? Well, yes. this is a new kind of a racket. Uh, does that have anything to do with social engineering? <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, I mean, how do you do social engineering? Is well, um, you drive by something? means of tranquila. Tranquila? Yes. In other words, you're a Milltown salesman, is that it? <laughs> What's tranquila? I assume that's something spelled backwards. Well, what is it if it's spelled frontwards? Tranquila is, I feel that in times of today, troubled and hectic times, Oh, I... well, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> what is there, for example, for anybody to worry about? I feel that it's very appropriate to give music and poetry with a musical therapy and uh, to heal the people with tranquila. Could you do a little tranquilizing now? Uh, I would have to have a little musical background for oh, it. Well, how little music would you need? Of course, if you need very little, we have the group out here that can take care of <laughs> From dawn till darkness, through day or night, from twilight to moonlight, all through the night, I am with you. In thoughts and speech, in words and deeds, in all your work when help you need, I am with you. In your time of trial or time of love, when your heart cries like the cooing dove, I am with you. I wish I was with him. Eh? When <laughs> I don't think I can complete this show. I am. Um... <laughs> Close your eyes and call for me. For Rosie, where are you? <laughs> I don't want you. I need a stretcher. <laughs> and there on instant I will be. You mean there's more to this? <laughs> for I am with you. No, oh, it's very nice, for Rosie. That was good. I haven't been so relaxed since I got run over by a truck. <laughs> Wake up, Dolores. Company's coming, and it's later than you think. And, you know. <laughs> Dolores, the new bride has a lot of adjustments to make. For example, how are you getting along with your new in-laws? Oh, just fine. And after Chuck and I started going together, we... Who's just... Chuck? Is this He's the... my husband. Oh, this is the one no. you have present. Yeah. His father, Mark, when he met his mother, Ch Connie... Met Chuck's... whose mother? Chuck's mother, Connie. Oh. She was going with my ex fiance Jack's father, Carl. Oh, yeah, just, just a moment. <laughs> Could you explain this to me? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Well, could you, would you mind giving me that again? It wasn't quite clear. The man that you originally went with married your mother? <laughs> no, my ex-fiancé's father was your going... Your ex-fiancé's father? ...was going with Chuck's mother when Chuck's father met Chuck's mother. <laughs> That's something like how many Chucks would a woodchuck chuck of <laughs> I don't understand the whole thing. The way it looks to me, you married your sister. <laughs> Have you done any planning or preparing for the advent of your baby, Dolores? Well, I read some books, and then I bought a couple of dozen of B-29 baby diapers. What kind of diapers? B-29. So that's what happened to those old bombers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
And that's what we had flying over Tokyo, diapers? <laughs> what is a B-29 diaper? Uh, how does that uh, compare, I mean, with a, a B-52 or a 56? Well, they're cut and folded to simplify putting on diapers. And they're shaped way? like a B-29. Well, could you, could you uh, give us an example of that? I mean, could you show us? Uh... I haven't opened the packages yet. <laughs> The it's what you call an expectant mother. Uh, <laughs> Rosie, I forgot to ask you. Are you married? No. No? No. You're not married? No. Well, a handsome, suave, romantic, continental type like you not married? How have you avoided the ladies? Do you carry live cobras in your pockets? Well, <laughs> I've not avoided ladies. I've just avoided marrying, that's all. Mm. <laughs> that isn't Tranquila. That's Shangri-La. <laughs> to break this up, but it's time for you to win some money. Now, Dolores, you're a real charmer, and remember, name the third one after me. <laughs> now, let's play You Bet Your Life. You selected state capitals. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Uh, what is the capital of Indi Indiana? Indianapolis. That's right. You have one right. What is the capital of New York? Albany. Albany is right. You have two right. What is the capital of Illinois? Springfield. Springfield. And what is the capital of uh, South Dakota? Pierre. Oh, you're too smart. You got four in a row, you win $1,000, just like that. <laughs> you win $1,000. You can keep it and quit, or else you can come back at the end of the show and try to double your money. You may even get a chance at 10000 So go over there and sit down and think about it. No matter what you decide to do, thanks for being Thank on the show. Thank you so much. Hello, <laughs> Groucho, Leroy Huff, and Esther Friesen are waiting to talk to you. So, folks, you in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to You Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. It's a common word, something you find around the house, assuming that you have one. Now, your name is Esther Friesen Leroy, is that right? No. Esther Friesen, huh? Just Esther Friesen. Esther Friesen and Leroy Howe, is that right? No, that's Huff, Groucho, H-O-U-G-H. How can it be Huff? It's spelled H-O-U-G-H. -H. Well, D O U G H is, is bow, isn't it? Therefore, H O U G H must be pronounced how, right? No, Groucho, uh, uh, T O U G H spells tough. Well, how about S O U G H? That's sow. Sow is spelled S O W. What, what's that? Sow spelled S O W. Sow is spelled S O W? I'm not talking about a female pig. <laughs> I'm talking about the rustle of the wind. That, that kind of a sow is S O U G H. That's pronounced sue. No, Sue is S-U-E, like Sue St. Marie, which actually is spelled S-I-O-U-X. Is that right? <laughs> All right? Now, Esther, tell me where you're from and say it in Chinese. I don't know Chinese, but I can talk to you in Spanish. All right, tell me in Spanish. What part of China were you born in? San Diego. Oh, well, what about H-O-U-G-H? That's, that... that's how, isn't it? No, that's huff. Oh, no, that's sow. <laughs> You like that? Mm -hmm. He's got a nice teeth, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Could you go for him? Uh, no, he's not my type. You wouldn't want him to throw his arms around you, huh? No. Would you, don't you ever feel an impulse to throw your arms around him? No, not around him. Around me? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the New Year is being good to me. <laughs> But we'd have to be in a room all by ourselves. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> you said we'd have to be in a room all by myself, and that's the sacred word for tonight. So you get yourself $50, and your friend here, whom you despise, he gets $50. <laughs> all right, back. Well, Leroy, uh, let's talk to you. Uh, where are you from? I was uh, born, reared, educated in Kansas City, uh, Gato. Well, what did you do in Kansas City? You hang around the stockyards? Well, they're there. Yes. Uh, after uh, finishing uh, uh, my education, I went to work for the Western Union. You were a messenger boy? Yes, sir. Started off as a messenger boy and worked in a number of uh, 
jobs. What is your job with Western Union? Surely you're not a messenger boy now. Uh, you sell those Western <coughs> Union suits? <laughs> My job at this time is uh, assistant sales manager. Oh. Is that what the, uh, what are some of the services that Western Union has to offer these days that Postal Telegraph doesn't? Aren't they in business? Anymore? Well, first place, Postal went out of business in uh, 1943. Uh, well, I we... haven't been out of the house in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> we have many services, uh, Groucho. One of the uh, important services we have is that of uh, uh, marketing uh, research. Well, what is the market and research service? You mean well, they tell you when the stocks are going up and down? No, that's a service that uh, we will perform for a client or a firm to uh, determine uh, the effectiveness of their advertising or of a product. Uh, and also, we uh, have uh, a telephone service where we call uh, 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 the general public at random and uh, find uh, out uh, their favorite well, television random? show. Is that near here? Uh, you just pick up a phone and call anybody, like TV surveys? Yes, we perform uh, to find out what the uh, favorite uh, television show, for example. Really? Is. Yes, sir. Could you show us how you operate? I'd be delighted to, Groucho. George, Fenneman, would you come out here and put your shoes on first, George? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women out front. Yeah. Have we got a telephone back here with a long extension? Uh, yes, I'm sure we do. Uh, well, why are you so it? sure? I mean, do well, you I know definitely. I know uh, that we've got two well, or three. Could you bring it out here and, and bring a phone book too, and we're going to test this yeah. man's uh, uh, skill at uh, surveys. All right. What are some of your other services? Well, uh, um, uh, some of our other services uh, they include uh, uh, our operator twenty-five. That's a service where the general public can call Western Union uh, by seeing an ad in a, a telephone. Uh, <laughs> Western Union operator twenty-five. There goes our romance right there. <laughs> Now, you know, I'm personally interested in this television survey. Esther, has anybody ever called and asked what your favorite TV show is? And not that I can remember, Mr. No. Marks. Well, Esther, what would you... Uh, this is Mr. Have you met Mr. Fenneman? Thank you. Esther, you open the book. You open the book and pick a name at random. And if you can't find one at random, take Eagle Rock or some other city right there. <laughs> you got a number that you want? Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, yeah, I'll hold it and you dial it. All right. He dials like a dog. Hello. Oh, no, hello. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Hello. There's no answer here. <laughs> it's ringing, but I think they're loaded or something. <laughs> it's gone four times. These, what did you, did you try a bank that closes at 3 o'clock? No, I, I took a name, Mr. Mark. Is, uh, no, this won't, this won't do it. You'll have to try it again. No, I haven't used the phone yeah. much. <laughs> we use a... Bless you. We have a pigeon at our house. <laughs> uh, lives on my mess. You got another number? All right, give it a, give it a try now. Huh? 7, 8, 8, 8, 1. Huh? Mm -hmm. Not the police. <laughs> Hello? It's busy. <laughs> that means there's a woman on the wire. Oh. Okay, I have one. Thank All right, you. try it again. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awful if nobody was home? <laughs> All over America. Can you all hear this out there? Yeah. Yes, hello. This is Western Union, and we're making a survey. Could you tell me what your favorite television show is? Hello? Well, there's no one in the office. This is an answering service. This is... <laughs> Nobody's home in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, we try one more. Hope you kids out there have no place to go tonight. <laughs> this may take months. That's a business to be in, you know. Owning a telephone company. People are talking all the time. City jail. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mrs. Smith? Hello? 
This is Western Union. We're making a survey. Could you tell me what your favorite television show is? Well, I just recently got a television set, a brand new one. Uh, and what show do you like the best? Yeah, uh, well, I'm new here in Los Angeles. I've only been here three months. Well, I'll have to just think about it a minute. Uh, I really like science fiction theater. Very good. Science fiction theater? Science fiction theater. It's, it's one of my favorites. Uh, do I you would... ever watch uh, Groucho Marx? Very seldom. <laughs> Don't you like him? Oh, yes, yes, I like him very much. Why don't you watch him more often? Well, I'm not in at the time he's on very often. You do night work? Oh, yes, I work at night quite often. Quite oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You should. This is Groucho Marx talking. Really? Yes, really. Uh, I was curious to know. Can you I prove would... that? Well, uh, can't you well, tell by the timbre of my voice? It, it sounds like well, it. Well, this, this is Groucho Marx. Uh, I, I heard all those people laughing there, and I would... <laughs> Well, I thought I was being tricked. No, no, you're not being tricked. This got your marks, and you, you get a job in the daytime and stay home at night and watch my show. Stay will. Yes, sir. Okay, now take care of yourself. Eh? Okay, thank so, you, sir. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think it's over. Bye. You did like the show. All right, we'll try one more call. And Leroy, this, this time you do it, huh? Yeah, now wait a minute. I'm going to write down a number. And I want you to call, okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> call that number. May I? Yeah. Busy, I'll kill him. <laughs> we'll find just how corrupt this survey business is. This is the survey department of Western Union calling. I uh, would like to uh, uh, find out uh, just what is your favorite uh, television show. My favorite television show? Yes. I like uh, You Bet Your Life. Uh, why do you like that show? Well, <laughs> mainly because my father's on it. <laughs> and uh, what is your name? Uh, uh, what is your name? Linda Marks. Uh, who? Linda Marks. Uh, I believe this is someone for you, Groucho. Linda? Yes? This is your old pappy. Ah, what are you doing? Yeah, well, we're we calling up a lot of people and finding out what shows they like. And, uh, and you really like the Groucho Marx show? Mm -hmm. Well, you take care of yourself. When I get home, I'll tuck you in with the extra blanket. All right. Uh, Who goodbye. are you calling up, though? Oh, we're calling up a lot of people. And just, uh, we happen to call you. I was curious to know what your real feelings were about uh, my show. All right. Good night, dear. Good night. Uh, George? I want you to take this phone out and have it gold-plated. <laughs> it's a very honest telephone. You get very honest surveys when you use this phone. And, and uh, George, have Melinda gold-plated, too, while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> now then, um, we're ready to play You Bet Your Life and uh, see if you can win <clears throat> some money here. You select the cities and small towns of the United, Snakes, uh, United States. If you miss two in a row, you're finished. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Now, in what state are these places? Madeira, Mariposa, El Centro, and Placerville, or Placerville? California. California. Placerville. California is right. You have one right. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Eh? No. Uh, it was for me, because I was born in uh, Massachusetts. Now, here are, the, here are the places. You tell me what state they're in. Kissimmee, <laughs> Jacksonville, and Fort Myers. Florida. Florida's right. Me, That's right. That's right. You have two right, two more right, and you'll have your thousand dollars. In what state are these cities and towns? Winchester, Rock Island, Vienna, mm -hmm. and Cairo. Illinois. Illinois is right. You now have three right. <clears throat> Get the next one right, and you'll have a thousand dollars. Now here are the cities and towns: Port Tucket, Lakewood, Quonset Point, and Central Falls. What is the state? Rhode Island. Rhode Island is right. That's you got four right. in a row. You win one thousand dollars. I have $1,000. You can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a chance of 10000 So go over there and sit down and think about it. No matter what you decide to do, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Brad. All right, George, what's the story on the big question? 
Well, Groucho, our first couple have decided to keep their thousand dollars and not try for the big money tonight. However, here are Esther Friesen and Leroy Huff to give you their decision. Joel, you won a thousand dollars so far. Mm -hmm. If you decide to try for the ten and you fail, you wind up with a total of five hundred. Now, what are you going to do? Okay, we're going to try. You're going to try. Mark. All right. You pick a number from one to ten and then spin the wheel. If any number besides the one you pick comes up, the question is worth two thousand. If the number you pick comes up, the question is worth ten thousand. Clear? Clear. What number do you want? Nine. Tiny. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Well, everybody is rooting for you except the sponsor. <laughs> Your number, you took number nine, and it came up nine, so this question is worth $10,000. In ancient Greece, so the story goes, a cynical philosopher turned the countryside toured the countryside with a Latin, looking for an honest man. For $10,000, who is this famous Greek? Talk it over. Easy. All right, what's the answer you two have decided upon? We're just going to have to guess. Neapolitan? No, you should have known this. I it's, know it. Uh, it's Diogenes. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed it. We really would like to have lost the money. Would you? Yes, we would have. <laughs> but anyway, you wound up with $500. That isn't too bad. Congratulations, oh. and thanks for being Thank with you us. You won $100 Thank in the sacred way, too, didn't you? No, just 50 Oh, well, each 50 So yes. you got a total of $600. It well, was that fun anyway. Well, thanks anyway for showing. <laughs> <laughs> 